Now let's take a look at recovering refrigerant using the method that they call push-pull. The push-pull method, that means that we're going to push refrigerant into the system and we're going to pull it out at the same time. We're going to pull the liquid out of the system. To do this, we need to first hook up a hose to the liquid line or to the king valve and hook it up to the recovery cylinder where it says liquid. From the one that says gas or vapor, we're going to hook that up to the recovery machine where it says in, in, so that we can draw refrigerant out of the cylinder, pressurize it, and push the re liquid refrigerant out. On the outlet side of the re re recovery machine, we're going to hook up the center hose of the three on the gauge manifold set. Once we have everything set up, we open up the high side gauge. We open up the valve on the, on the red side. We open up the recovery cylinder valves and we front seat the king valve. To front seat it means to move it all the way to the front so that refrigerant cannot flow into the system, but it can flow into the hose and into the cylinder. Once we do this, we can go ahead and start the machine. Once we start it, it's going to push refrigerant into the system, out of the condenser and out of the receiver, and all that liquid is going to go into the recovery cylinder. The scale is there so that we can see how much refrigerant we have recovered, so we can keep track because remember, we're not supposed to fill these cylinders more than 80%. The recovery machine will be taking refrigerant gas out of the top of the cylinder, pressurizing it, and pumping it into the high side of the system so that whatever liquid refrigerant is in the condenser or the receiver, it will be pushed out and into the cylinder. By doing this, we will remove most of the liquid that's in the system and all we should have left would be just the vapor so we can do a vapor recovery.